Hi everyone, I'm Brighton. So, Bat's Blood Soup is actually from the Harry Potter movie series, rather than the books, and that's okay, we're just gonna go with that one. It's also apparently known as Marshmallow Fondue. Now, I actually couldn't remember seeing it in the movie, so I had to go back and watch all the movies, and we're gonna call that one Research. But this would be perfect if you're wanting to do a dessert table for your Harry Potter party. To make this, you're going to need one cup of thickened cream, three tablespoons of glucose syrup or corn syrup, or if you don't have that, you can always use golden syrup. We're gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla, and you're gonna need 200 grams of 70% cocoa chocolate. We're also gonna pop in some of this Wilton's red color, just to make it a bit more blood-like. So to pull this all together, we're just gonna pop it all into a saucepan, and on low, just really heat it up until the chocolate's melted and stirred into the cream. Then for serving, we have used a, it looks like a cauldron, it's actually a pot planter that I've never used other than for food. But inside we've placed a glass jar and that's what's gonna hold the food. But it has that nice little witchy Harry Potter cauldron feel. Now there's lots of things that you can dip into this. Normally for a chocolate fondue, you use things like marshmallows, caramels, pretzel sticks, biscotti, cookies, anything you wanna dip in, you can go for it. So there we go. This actually makes a perfect Halloween party just in itself. Get all your friends around, get them all to bring something to dip into your chocolate and your bat's blood soup becomes a party in itself.